If God has been good to anybody, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck right now on, on Stuck Street. If he's been good to anybody, you ought to show some sign. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, if, if, if God is good to you, I don't know when, when you can buy your Easter frolic, <laughs> you can't be God. That's right. And that's the only time he's good to you, amen? amen. And, and I'm serious. Now, he can't be God. If, right. you're on, if you don't appreciate God on Christmas time, he can't be God. That's right. That's right. He can't be. Because God, because God made in his word, and he said in his word, he said, I'm God all by myself. That means you don't be no Easter. Right. And no Easter bunny. Right. No frolic. Amen. 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 You don't need no Christmas gift. He ain't in a manger. Right. Amen. 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 I told you I was going to help you one way or another. You're going to leave her running one way or the other. You're going to tell somebody that Jesus is alive and well. You're going to say, I ain't coming back. Amen. Amen. Chapter 24, Luke, verses 1 through 12. Yeah, God. When you found to say amen. 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 If you're still looking, say, I'm still looking. And we'll get there. Luke 24. <laughs> Beginning at the first verse. Down to the 12th verse. You there? Amen. Read. Now for the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came into the sepulchre, bringing those spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre, and they entered in, and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass as they were very much perplexed thereabout. Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Right. He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. And they returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, and Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James, and, uh, and other women that were with them, which told these, told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them like as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran down and ran unto the sepulchre, and, sto and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. Amen. 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 Thirty-three years on earth, Amen. ministering to people, Hallelujah. healing the sick, yes. raising the dead, giving sight to the blind, yes, yes. feeding the hungry, and it has come to this. Yes. Amen. Now he can't be found. Well, <laughs> he can't be found. Yes, yes. He got folk walking on water with him, yes. and he getting gold out of fish mouth. Now you can't find. Him. All right. Where he now? Did it all come to this? But did he just fail in everything? All they wanted to do, the women wanted to do, just go and minister to their friend yes. one last time. Amen. And he can't be found. Right. They just want to get a man a decent burial. Right. They can't find him anywhere. Right. Amen. He's gone. Amen. He needs to stay around. Yes, yes. He done told him, follow me. Now, they can't follow nobody, they can't follow. Right. That's it. Follow me. Yes. Well, that brings me to my lesson title. All right. You may be looking for the right thing, but you're looking in the wrong place. Right. Beautiful. That'll hurt by itself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you claim to love God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind, but you don't love God. Break it down, man. Break it down. That's where I come up now. You really what? You really come up, and you're supposed to now. You come up in the church house looking for God, but God ain't nowhere to be found. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to be violent right. in church. Come on. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you came here because it was Easter. <laughs> if it was Resurrection Sunday, you'd have been up in here the right way. Right, right, right. The song, see, the songwriter said, you're looking for love in all the wrong faces, looking for love in all the wrong places, looking for love. See what? The, the women meant well, and they were following religious tradition, and they went to give Jesus a decent burial, but he couldn't wait. Yes, right. <laughs> you know what I love about God? God gonna work in plan with or without you. He ain't gonna wait on you. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. He not, he's not gonna wait on you. Now, see, time don't mean nothing to him. But if you think you can hinder God's plan, keep a thinking. Amen. Amen. It ain't gonna happen. If you don't do what he wants you to do, he'll make the very chair get up you set me in. Yes, Dump you on the floor and do what it needs to be done. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Amen. See, chairs don't need to be resurrected, Amen. but chairs are ready to move. Yeah. Amen. 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 See, the good news is we, we need a savior that we can find. All right. That's good news. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, we really think Jesus, watch this, can be found on our knees. Well, well, well. Mm. We we think Jesus can be found. In our prayers. Yes, yes. And we think Jesus can be found in our good works. That's right. But if you don't have him in your heart, mm -hmm. all right, Amen. you ain't got him. Amen. Right. Amen. You ain't, if you ain't got him in your heart, you ain't got him. Right. Amen. Amen. See, we're looking for him in all the wrong places. Amen. Now, he, you know what? this is what Jesus said. Jesus said that, and you can't really, you can't get mad at Jesus because he made a statement. He said, seek me, yet why I can be found. That's right. In other words, he's telling you, one day you're going to look for me and I'm going to be found. Oh, that's right. You ain't going to be able to, listen, listen, what, what he's talking about is this right here. See, see you're going to be looking for him over here and he's going to be over here. Uh, okay, okay, watch it, watch it. You're going to mess around and come to church when you want to. Yeah. And he's going to be in gone. Yeah, right. <laughs> come on yeah you're going to come to Bible study when you... I'm just preaching. I ain't talking about nobody. Just talking about what I'm talking about. You can come to Bible study when you get ready. He's going to be in gone. Come on now. Come on. Amen. Amen. Resurrection. I'm trying. I told you the word. Before you later arrived, I told him this is what he got. I said, if this word going to help you today, then he's going to bring you out here. You ain't coming back, or you're going to stay here. Amen. Because you got to be resurrected. Jesus did not die for nothing. That's amen. He didn't. Listen, there was the ultimate plan of God for Jesus to die. That's it. Yeah. Woo, this is good news. This is going to make you shout right Good news. You did not kill God. Amen. Jesus, you didn't kill him. No, no, no. That was in God's plan. Yes, sir. He, listen, he said, in order for me to get y'all back to me, I'm going to give up my son. Many of them come and say, son, you go down and give him your life so I get them mean folk back to me. Because see what? He said, I got to get sinful man back to me. We all have sin and come son of the glory of God. I, I just said something about all of them. Plan to be a level. We all have sin. And come short of the glory of God. But God said, since you came short, I'm still going to get my glory. Come on, Jesus. Yes, sir. Right. Come on, Jesus. Yes, Go down and glorify me. Yes, sir. Did Jesus come down? He said, what? Well, just what Jesus said. Jesus said, when you see me, you see my daddy. Yeah, that's right. You see my daddy. When you look at me, you see to God. When you see me, you see him. Listen. And he said, watch this. He sent me to do a word. He said to do what? He said, and Satan mess with me just like he mess with you. Yes. yes. Yeah. Exactly. Amen. Amen. See, you need to be resurrected too. Amen. Amen. But the first thing you got to do is die. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Amen. Everybody going to hell, but nobody want to die. Right. Right. Uh oh. You got to die to yourself. That's right. You got to die to flesh. Yeah. Flesh don't mean you no good. See, flesh is never satisfied. Right. Amen. Amen. Listen, listen. You can eat breakfast this morning, a good breakfast. And before
before 12 o'clock, you ready to eat again. Yes, That's flesh. Yeah. That's flesh. But the spirit should always be full if you got the right spirit. Amen. 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 Watch. I don't know what mess of these women that went to the tomb. I don't know if seeing them two boys that were bright, glorifying God within themselves, or they were upset because Jesus wasn't there. You ever, go, you ever went looking for something and know you put it there? Yes. And then you can't find it? Amen. Now, those women had to be perplexed because one said, listen, I was there Friday <laughs> when they nailed him to their cross. All right. And I stayed there till they took him off. And I know he did because they nailed him to the cross. They pierced him in the side when blood and water came out. And I know they get Pilate and said, he dead, now he couldn't dead. So they told him happened. And I saw when they laid him in this tomb, and I saw when they put a stone on it, and I saw they put the guards on it. So how in the world he not be here now? You've been praying and praying for a long time. Been praying for your healing. Ain't nothing happened yet. Been praying for your deliverance. Ain't nothing happened yet. Where in the world is Jesus? Where is he at? He said he took everything I got to the cross. I don't feel like I'm healed. I don't feel like I'm delivered. It ain't about how you feel. All right. It's about what he did. Yeah, if he said it, he gonna do it. Amen. Amen. It's already done. All right. Amen. You're looking for Jesus. Right. This is the right thing, but you're looking in the wrong place. Amen. Listen, you got to understand that Jesus is right where he needs to be. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah, that's it. Watch. Hear this. Watch this. Watch this. Jesus, once he died, he died. And, and, and if I was a preacher, I'd do like this. Didn't he die? He died. Oh, didn't he die? They hung him wide. Stretched him high. Didn't he die? Yeah. But that ain't me. He died. And he died for a purpose. Right. Sure. Yeah, he now listen, watch this. Nobody took the man's life. That's right. All he right. laid it down. Right. He made it look good That's for them right. to think they done something. Yeah. But all they were doing was following protocol in the plane. That's right. Because he made it plain that no man going to take my life. And that they were listening to him. And we can't really get mad at them in that back in the Bible day because we ain't listening now. He said, and no man will take my life. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, lay it down. And I said, I'm going to make it plain to you. Once I lay it down, my daddy going to pick me back up. <laughs> in three days, I'm getting up. I'm getting up. See, when you're going to make the mistake, then you're going to nail me to a cross. <laughs> and I done told you, if you nail me to a cross and lift me up, if you lift me up, I will draw everything that took me. Don't lift me up. Yes, sir. And they act the monkey and lifted him up anyway. <laughs> Well, things went chaotic. Sun S U N refused to shine. Because yeah. two suns can't shine in the same place. All right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Moon broke out of the hemorrhage. Right. Stars jumped out of his socket. All right. The earth said, no, nah, I ain't trying to hold this man. Right. That's too much power. It began to rock and reel. And then it made the very one that killed him say, that's got to be. Ain't no doubt in my mind, that's got to be. I just killed the man of God. Yeah, Ain't no doubt in my mind, I killed him. But Jesus said, don't worry. Because I ain't mad. Because in three days, I'm getting back here. I'm getting back up. I'm on this broader protocol. I'm going to get up with all power. In heaven and earth. Trust it in my hand. Amen? Amen. So the angel had to let the women know, why are you here looking for him? All right. Now listen, let me, let, let, let me take up for the women. If you know something dead, you go among the dead looking for the dead. Right. Right. But why would the angel ask, why are you here looking for the living among the dead? All right. The man dead. They saw him die. If something dead, you're buried. Right. right. And they go to the place you bury stuff. Right. Amen. See, some of us got some dead stuff need to be buried. Right, 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 Amen. right. 
Come on. Yes, it's, a, it's some stuff ain't doing you a bit of good. Right. You still holding on to it. Yes, Somebody told you something 48 years ago, you only 46 and you still believing it. Yes, Come, on. Right. All right. Come on now. You got to let that go. Doctor that gave me a report, you still holding on to it. Yeah. But you got to understand, you got to get there, you got to believe this, you got to come to yourself and ask yourself, what manner of man is it that I'm serving? What manner of man is it that can, that can, that can open up blind eyes? What manner of man is it that can stop an issue of blood? What manner of man is it that can feed and turn stones into bread and feed by? What manner of man yeah. Yeah. Right, right. that I'm serving? Yes, you serving a true and a living God that's been resurrected. Yeah. Amen. 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 We got to understand that Jesus is trying to get us to look in the right place. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. Some of us looking at our, at our bank account. All right. Uh-huh. Yes, you are. You got a little money in that account. No. And that's what you're looking at. But it's April now. Income tax came last month. You, you be through by June. <laughs> then you be right back looking for God. Yeah. But you thought you found him and then they come tax return. Amen. I'm helping somebody. Yeah. I know y'all got eight, nine, ten thousand dollars. You ain't fit before. You gotta look at them. But if you ain't careful, you're gonna lose all that. Yes, Come on now. Amen. You listen, you trying to watch you trying to find Jesus in alcohol. He ain't in there. Right. You trying to find him in drugs, he ain't in there. Right. You trying to find him in food, he's not in that. Yes, you got to get him in your heart because he's a spirit. Yeah. And if you go and worship him, you got to worship him in spirit and truth. And listen, God has got, got to a point in his life, in your life. Now he's making it plain. He said, I am the Lord thy God. He said, watch this. Do not mock me. In other words, he's trying to tell us, stop playing with me. That's Play right. time That's over with. He said, I'm a God that not mock. I see everything you do. Listen, when I die, you gonna do before you thought about doing it. That's me that went on the home. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Ain't nobody saying that. Ain't nobody saying that. I'm trying to help you right here now. Yeah. See, God trying to get us to a place. That I'm a living God. You looking for me among that stuff. Yeah. He said, I did He said, that's why he told him when he went down to try to help the disciples out. More than what? I wouldn't go with you, but I gotta go bury him. He said, no, no, let the dead bury the dead. You better stay with the living. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? Oh, a lot of folks will run the funeral. Yeah. Yeah. We won't have that same debt for the way to live. Right. Uh, yes, right. And with them. Now you feel guilty. You could now how you now let me ask you word. How you gonna have a dead person? Come on now. Mm. Well, let me care about the chicken. That ain't helping them. You better well keep that chicken. That's right. Mm. They ain't having them. Now you good. Let me take two loaves of bread and a six pack of coke. They ain't having them. Stop it at the house. You didn't go see them when they were living and eating well up there now. Right. Amen. Yeah. And now you want to run to the prison and think you're going to sit up there with the family. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm helping somebody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So God is trying to help us. Why? Listen, if you too good to admit you got some wrong, you too good. Amen. 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 You a dead man walking. Yes, I promise you. Listen, if you ain't loving nobody like you, God said love them, you're a dead person walking. Right. Amen. Amen. Why? Watch this. I'm telling you, I'm telling you why some people, now y'all not, not going to believe this. Some people, what I say? Some, some people. people. Like being sick. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Some people love being sick. Yes, they do. I mean, they tell y'all about it. Yeah. I, I, had a, I got a cousin tell y'all about it. I, had, I got to have 15 hip replacement that year. Like he had. I've been mad praying between now and then. Pray for him. Get some oil. Do something. You know, come on. Some people like being sick. And then they think if you feel sorry for them, that make them feel better. Yeah. That's it. Amen. Y'all know about like that? Amen. <laughs> and then y'all do. Ain't nobody like being sick. Ooh. It made me sick to get sick. Amen. <laughs> yes, yes. Come on. We got, we got to watch. We got to watch this. 
we got to understand that Jesus had to be crucified. Yes. 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 Amen. Listen, here, here's, here's, the, here's the dead thing. Peter said it. Peter said it. I ain't going to let nobody kill you, Jesus. And good. You need a friend like that, right? Amen. But what? Jesus said, Peter, you better shut up. You, you sound good at church. You say, that sound real good. But let me, let me explain something to you, Peter. If I don't be crucified, you ain't going to make it in. You ain't gonna, if I don't go to that part, you're not going to make it in. That's why he got upset when you went to sleep when he was trying to pray. That's it. You said, all I have to do is watch while I pray. Yeah. See, if Jesus had not have been crucified, you would be saved. That's right. If Jesus had not have been crucified, you won't be sanctified. Amen. Come on now. I'm preaching about you saying that. Yes, if Jesus had not been crucified, you would have a way you can forget about him. Yes, sir. You can forget about him. Because yeah. there won't be no way back. Because he made a play. Once I'm crucified, here's what takes place. Then I, the truth will kick in. He said, now you know that I am the way. Yeah. Truth and life. You can't get to heaven if you come through me. Yes, sir. You got to qualify. Yes. Amen. 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 And Jesus had to die because if he had not have died, I don't know who else could have died. Amen. Amen. And glory came from his death. Amen. 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 So, so watch this. There's a, there's a few questions we can ask each other right. when it comes time to resurrection day. Amen. Right. It's a good thing that we're looking for the right thing without we looking at the right place. Come on now. Come on. Amen. Amen. See what? You need to serve a living God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Let, me, let, me, let me go and set the record straight. Jesus is no longer a baby. Right. You will not find him in a manger. Right. He's no longer in a grave because if you look at, if you read this chapter and this verse we just read, Jesus told you long ago he fold up his grave clothes. Who's going to take the time to fold up grave clothes? He fold up grave clothes <laughs> and let you know it's yep. finished. Yep. I'm through with this. Ain't no, ain't no get no more time. So when he come back, I ain't dying no more. I'm coming back. I'm alive and well. You can tell everybody you see I'm alive and well. He told that girl, go tell them, boy, meet me in Galilee. I'm alive and well. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with me no more. I'm, I'm good to go now. And that's why the tell them, don't touch me yet. You see how don't touch me? I ain't good to my daddy yet. Because I'm pure now. You understand what I'm saying? So we got to understand, we need a living God. Amen? A dead God, watch this, will never, will never make a demand on your life. See, right now, Jesus pulling on somebody. By his spirit. See, Jesus put it on. See, a, a dead God ain't gonna put on you. That's right. That's it. A, a, listen, a real God will stretch you. Yes, He'll make you think about what you're doing. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 See, a, a, see, you need a you listen, you, a friend ain't a friend that's your friend right. when he put it on you. Right. That's it. Right. That's, it. that's true. That's a real friend. Jesus is a friend. Jesus will, listen, this is what they gotta know about Jesus. Jesus will make you look in the mirror. Oh, yeah. And he'll make you see yourself yes, sir. in the mirror. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Yeah, listen, you, when you go to that mirror, I don't care how big it is, I don't care how many people stand in front of the mirror, all you're going to see is you. Yes, well, well. Amen. A dead God will never challenge you. Amen. Amen. He'll never get in your way of what you want to do. That's right. Ain't that like you? You ever had a God? You, you ever had God? To, you be wanting to go one way, God take your number. I wish I would be me for about two days. I got a notebook full of sermons. And I know they're good. How do you know they're good? Because they were inspired by the Lord. Now I wrote them. But he won't let me preach one of them. Now I asked him a question. What you have me to write them for? And he, he asked me a question. Who you working for? And I didn't hurry up and shut the book. So I like John. No, I just shut the book up. I'll preach them when he said preach them. And if I know a preacher, they wrote for somebody else to preach them. Right. Come on now. Amen. It's still sermons. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? But he'll challenge you. He said, I don't want you to do it right. He said, he right. Sometimes God will have you doing something. You don't know why you're doing it. Just do it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Amen. 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 A dead God wasn't, doesn't ask you what time it is. 
Because he won't know what time you're doing, sir. A, de a living God will ask you for your time, yes, your money, and your everything else. Yes, a living God will, amen. Yes, See, we like seven dirt God, dead God don't demand nothing. That's it. Ain't nobody saying nothing. All right. Ain't nobody saying nothing. I went to church last Sunday. That was last Sunday. Yeah. Last Sunday, don't hunt this Sunday. Right. Right. Come on now. God wants to put a demand on your time all the time. Because mm -hmm. God is a God the time don't mean nothing to That's right. Right. Amen, amen. I'm going to help you in a minute. Amen. See, watch it. A dead God will not interfere with your relationships. Come on. Boy, and a hush came over the crowd. A dead God will interfere with your relationships. You think because you ain't running the street, you got the best relationship. But you in here, you won't even comb your hair. Mm -hmm. I did help somebody. Right. Ouch. Well, you didn't help me because I ain't got no hair. Well, you need to slick it down some more. <laughs> and get some. Amen. Amen. You won't even cut the grass. Come on, you don't take out the trash. Mm. Now you got a little fitness sin. Now you won't go eat out every time and time you eat. Won't eat cook. I'm helping somebody. You don't want to say nothing nice to nobody. Amen. But want something nice said to you. You don't never want to help nobody when they're in the meeting. I'm talking about relationship. I ain't talking about outside the relationship. And then, and then, and then what? And then, and then this is what I do. Then why you marry me, Jamila? Well, <laughs> come on. Come on. Every man, he got to interfere in my relationship. Amen. Come on. Listen, listen. If your relationship that good, I wouldn't have to be always turn up your nose at each other. You don't think I'll be seeing that, dude? Come on now. Y'all, you think you got the best relationship because you sitting next to him? Uh-oh, I just hit a whole bunch of people. Come on. See, God will enter through your relationship and my, watch him. He ain't going to show you what the other one going wrong. going to show you where you going yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Go show you where you going wrong. And see what? Then that ain't no excuse for you to go wrong because he don't show you where you going wrong. Right. Right. Get it right. Get it right. Amen. I remember, I, boy, I, I remember a long time ago. Long time ago. I used to tell week. Tamara when she went wrong all the time. Yeah. And God told her, you tell her right, but you wrong to tell her. Amen. Because you ain't doing right. Right. Come on. He said, nah, then, then, I, then, I, then I got one of them. I said, okay, I'm going to stop talking to him. I'm going to start praying. He said, no, you're praying amiss now. Don't pray that you let her see what you want to see. Pray that she see what I need for her right, to see. Right, right, right. Then it'll work in your favor. Yeah. But long you pray amiss in your way, it ain't going to work. Because yeah. again, burn the way you pray, you're trying to mock me. Yeah. Come on. Preacher. <laughs> Amen. A God, a living God. I did, God. I'm sorry. He won't insist that you are sexually pure. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm in love. If you ain't married, you gotta be having sex. Amen. Amen. Well, if you marry, have sex. Chase them. Ain't nobody. Can't nobody say nothing. <laughs> he got it right there. Doesn't nobody say nothing. <laughs> if I'm married, oh, I ain't happy. If I'm married and I got a wife and we able, I'm going to have sex. Come on now. Right. Well. <laughs> he ain't supposed to say that. Well, you saying it. I'm going to say it. Amen. Don't be hating. Y'all pray hate now. Y'all pray hate. <laughs> Y'all pray, y'all pray. And, 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 listen, and, and if you tell me your business, I ain't going to tell you about your business if you don't tell me. But if you bring that horse to me, I'm going to saddle him up if you ain't married. And I'm going to tell you, you ain't got no business riding that horse. <laughs> Come on. The, the truth that's the truth. Okay, how good you look. I'm in love. Your love ain't going to make you have sex out of wedlock. <laughs> ain't nobody saying nothing. Ouch. <laughs> That's the kind of God you want to serve, amen. Right. Like, amen. See, we think relationships like chest drive a car. Right. Get in one, get out the other. Come on. Come Ouch. On. See what? A dead God won't interfere in your finances. Right, right. <laughs> Anybody ever get mad up in here? 
You back? You in church? Yes, sir. You back to You back? I, I'm talking married folk. Okay. Well, married folk. Married folk. Yeah. Then you get mad. You get mad. Yeah. You, you, you get mad. Yes, and then you decide you're going to spend some money. Yeah. Come on. I ain't going no more. You, get, you mad that you're going to spend some money because you mad. You're going to justify it. You know good and well that's the that's the grocery bill money. And you're going by a scratch off. Come on then. Now you're begging for five hours worth of gas. Come on, talk to me. Yes, sir. But you mad. You mad because so and so didn't buy you. No, you saw so and so. Now look, watch this. You know good and well you cannot afford yet. That's what I say. Yeah. You can't afford yet them red bottom shoes. Go quit trying to buy them. That's it. If you got any kind of sin, ask your spouse to buy you a can of red spray paint. Right. Amen. That's right. The kind of gloss. Right. <laughs> and don't wear them shoes so you can do painting. Right. That's right. <laughs> and make sure everybody see them, though, because they have one leg up like that. <laughs> and they put it down. They don't wear the neck, they're going to be scarred up. The real red bottom going to scarred up like that. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A dead, a, a, listen, a dead God doesn't judge you by what you say and how you say it. Right. Now, when it's a God judge, now, this is what God does. See, he, 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 he what the church is to, before they get resurrected. We got to say everything right in church. Yeah. Yeah. That's our responsibility. Yeah. But ain't nobody got the responsibility of hearing it right. Yeah. Come on now. Amen. Come on. If I said Jesus loved you, you ain't got to have you have to shout. You better be glad I said. Right. That's it. Right, right, right. Jesus loved you. See, we 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 we, we want to wear feelings on our sleeves yes, all the time. Yes, right. yes. It's, I told you, like a man bagging off a cliff. You gonna say, don't bag off the cliff. Then he steady bag and fall off. Oh, we don't say, man, don't take another step. You are gonna break your neck if you take another step. Don't go no farther. You don't have to say it like that. Well, you about to walk up the cliff, nut. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A dead God, watch this, won't insist you walk in integrity. Amen. Right. Oh, watch this. I'm going to help somebody. I'm going to help somebody. I don't know who I'm going to help. Maybe you're going to be somebody in Facebook land. Watch this. Folk know to do right in church. Yeah, all right. It's outside of church. Well, I'll take that back. Some folk know how to do right in church. Right. But outside of church, folk ain't going to do what they want to do until they want to do it. Right. Y'all yeah, don't go to church somebody they were having a holiday with your time. Yeah. 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 And, and, then, and then you have to stick with them out of the church. Yeah. And right in the church, they were having a holiday with your time. Right. <laughs> they were saying hallelujah. They, they weren't saying hallelujah. They were telling you to go to hallelujah. <laughs> right out the church. And then in church. And then what? They're trying to do what's right in church, but then rob it on the job. Right. Oh, come on now. Yep. How many how many y'all working eight hour job? Yeah. Nine hour job. Ten hour job. Yeah. I guarantee you ain't working eight, nine, or ten. Right. I promise you. I used to be out there, I wouldn't do it either. Right. I just did with myself when I work with myself. I didn't work it out. I was about four hours through. And paid myself eight. Yeah. Come on. Y'all do the same thing. Yeah. You know you taking more than a 10 minute break. Yeah. Lunch ain't but 30. You spend 45. Right. And then get mad because they dock you 15. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. You sleep. You know you slept on that. You were late getting that and then went to sleep. Yes, yes. I was sitting up with my client. No, you were, you were sleep with the client. Right now. <laughs> Come, on. <laughs> Come on now, we're talking about integrity. Yes, sir. You know good word they gave you. know good word they should not have gave you that discount, which wasn't no discount. Amen. You know, Amen. somebody like to go to them so wild pocket work. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're going to give you mad. They're going to give you that discount, then the other discount, the other discount. Amen. I ain't gonna tell no lie. I'm gonna tell like, look, I had a relative working in one of them stores. Get, I ain't never been to the military not one time in my life. I got military discount. Yeah. Civil service discount. I went over there. I got his discount. I then got another kind of discount. Then got what? Somebody gonna come hire me and then we get discount. I got about five or six discount. I said, boy, I got y'all stealing like this. He said, yes, I am. I'm helping you steal. We both 
going to go to jail. Come on now. Integrity, amen. A dead God won't tell you, watch it, to have a prosperous plan for your life. Amen. Look, listen, a dead God ain't going to tell you, I know the plan is to prosper you and to bring you good success. But a living God will tell you that. That's right. He knows the plan to prosper you yes, and to bring you good success. Yes, Amen. So here's some things that are hanging us up. We gotta learn to serve a living God. Because a living God only putting pressure on you because he's trying to make a diamond out of Amen. you. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. But I, I know some of us will not serve a God that are challenge our choices, that are cleaning us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. We want to serve a God that don't hold us accountable. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Watch this. But this is why you need a living God. Because a dead God ain't going to never tell you that you'll be healed. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. A dead God ain't going to tell you that. Amen. Listen, Jesus said before he went on the cross, he said, by my strife you heal. Yeah. Right, right. Yes, he he said, by my you heal. I don't care what the doctor said, and a dead God ain't going to tell you that. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. A dead God can never give you freedom. <laughs> This hidden freedom right here. What kind of freedom, brother? Jesus said, this is all you got to do. Repent yeah. of your sinful way, and I'll free you. Yes, I'll free you. That's right. But then you won't repent, and you won't go forgive them. That's why you bow. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, when you're forgiving somebody, you ain't helping them. You're helping you. That's Amen. It. That's it. Amen. 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 Watch well, this. The dead God can live your spirit. No, he can't, he can't lift your spirit. A dead God can't fill you with joy. Amen. A dead God can't cause you to rejoice. Right. Is that what I'm saying? See, I, I, listen, a dead God won't say praise me. Yes. 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 I'm almost through, boy. Amen. I ain't gonna stay long. I've been in church one day. <laughs> Amen. A dead God can't hear your prayers. Amen. That's right. Amen. And hey, speak to your soul. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you ever pray to God? About a situation, and then a small, still voice speak back to you, yes, sir. and tell you exactly what it is you want to do. Yes. Your soul may not have liked it, but you sure need it in your spirit. You got it? Amen. Amen. So watch this. A living God is your best out. God is alive. Yes, tell your neighbor, oh, Jesus yeah. is alive. Yeah, Jesus is alive. Yeah. Listen, listen, watch this. Our, lie, our living God, he wants to know you. He said, talk to me. Because I'm alive. Talk to me. I ain't not a Buddha. Talk to me. Buddha's a living God. Talk to me. If you talk to me, I'll talk back to you. Ask me what you want, I'll give you what you want. Amen. Our living God wants to, watch it, wants to turn your sorrow into joy. Our living God does. Amen. A living God wants to light up your life. Amen. Amen. And help you fight against sin. Amen. A living God does. Amen. A living God wants to, want to, wants to heal you. He wants to give you hope and a future. All right, all right. A living God does. Amen. A living God wants to fix, help you fix your relationship. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 Right. He, listen, a living God wants to, wants to turn your death living into abundant living. All right, all right. Some of y'all just living to die. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. You just, uh, I, just keep me alive. No, I want to be more than just alive. I know a lot of alive folk. Yeah, yeah. And ain't got no life. Amen. Ain't got no life. Right. I want a life and life more abundantly. Yes, yes. Amen. I, listen, I want, I want to celebrate. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, the living God wants you, what? Want you to treasure Him, what? Every minute of the day. In other words, you need to acknowledge God in all your ways. Yeah. Right. In everything you do, acknowledge Him. Amen. What well, you gotta not listen. You got to acknowledge God in your sinful way. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Oh, yeah. See, this is this is a good thing. God, God is trying to resurrect us. Yes, See, we like what we always talk about when we all get together. Yes. For the day of rejoicing that will be. Yeah. But then how that gonna be when black got it over here and white got it over here? Ain't no coming together. Amen. Ain't no coming together. Amen. No, 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 no. I love the Lord and the Lord. God is everywhere. Yeah. Yes. He's the living God. Amen. Say God, say you, say God, say you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 So God wants to get us in life and life more abundant. Yes, yes, yes. So watch. Jesus says, have faith in me. 
He said, have faith in me. He said, if you have faith in me, we'll get this going. Yes, sir. Jesus says, listen, I came for one purpose and one purpose only. That was to take the sins of the world yes, yes, and yes. none to the Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's it. He said, all you got to do is confess that you got a shortcoming. Yes, I do. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Yes. Nobody yes. saying nothing. Yes, Everybody in here got issues. Yes, sir. Yes. I, 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 I'm making it personal. You're going to leave here and say you want. Everybody in here got issues. Yes. Every one of you. Yes. Some of y'all got some stinking issues. Yes. And some of y'all got some fucking issues. Yes. But they all stink. Yes. Everybody in here has come short of the glory of God. Everybody has come short of the glory of God. Yeah, I said everybody has come short of the glory of God. It's time you make up your mind, you're going to give it one more time to Jesus. Then let him take it back to the cross yes, and then nail it to the cross and leave it there. Yes, sir. Gonna make up in your mind. This is a day. God made it plain. Jesus said, listen, this is what I love about Jesus. When Jesus got tired of fooling with us, nonsense, man. <laughs> okay. He'll make a statement. Yes, he said, wait, he said, that's what I want you to do. He said, choose this day. Yeah. Make up your mind who you're going to serve. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm God, you're going to serve me. Because yeah. I'm out. Look, listen, I don't need no help being God. I'm God all by myself. Yeah. I'm a God of the living and yeah. not of the dead. Right. If you're going to serve, then you're going to serve me. Right. But if you're going to serve Baal, you serve Baal. Right. And leave me alone. Yeah. Because I'm going to have to live in folk. I ain't out to nothing dead. There's enough dead stuff in the church. There's enough dead weight in the church. There's enough dead weight in your life. Yeah. Get rid of it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm happy. Amen. Because ain't nobody happy with me. Amen. Yeah. You got to find Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. He ain't hard to find. Right. He says, see, and you'll find. Yes. Here's how you find. I'm going to get out of here now. Matthew 6 and 33. Yep. It says, it seek ye first yep. the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's how you find it. Yeah. And all other things will be added unto you. Right, right, but you ain't right. getting nothing until you seek him right. first. Amen. First. Amen. If you got an issue, and I know you do. Yes, amen. I know you got an issue. Amen. I know you the first issue, if you ain't got nothing to write with, you got a big issue. Because yeah. I ain't going to furnish you everything. Uh -huh. yeah. If you got an issue, and I know you do. Yes. Come here, Jaden. Jaden, Jaden. Jaden, come here. Give everybody a Sticky note, because I know they got an issue. Yeah, some of them may want two or three. You, have you got an issue. No, I'm serious. I, that's, I'm serious now. You got issues. Yeah. And it may be somebody out in the internet land in Facebook. You may have an issue. You take you take two of them Facebook and live. I mean, you come in or whatever you want, however you do it. If you got an issue, then you make sure that issue gets you. Get up, get to us. We'll nail your issue to the cross. Pass them out. <laughs> Well, we'll nail your issue to the cross. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Alex, run my video. Run my video. Amen. Amen. And I want y'all to pay attention to the video. Because this is, the, this is vital, this is important. And I don't, know, I don't know if everybody can get it on Facebook or whatever. That's not important. I, we'll, we'll, we'll download it out of the wild anyway. But I, I, want, I want you to see what nails it to the cross. We've got to see this thing in our spirit. We've got to see it for what it's really worth. Amen. Amen. Because, see, we, we, we take God too lightly. Amen. Yes, sir. Jesus is trying to get you to your next place, and you still a boogie job. All right, all right. Amen. 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 It's coming. What does nail to cross mean to you? Oh, nobody? Okay. Let me 
Det var kun sådan, at mens det dagde vi om, men så det var stille på mig, at det kom. And, and, I, I, you know, don't even worry about it. Come here, give me the lights back. Oh, you, you think you got it? Okay. Well, my people here anyway. One of them. Okay. Here we go. Let the Lord fight your battle. 
Amen. That's, that's what he wants. And see, you can't be ashamed. Jesus said it. He said, if you be ashamed down here, then I'm going to be ashamed before the Father and ever. In other words, if you're ashamed to admit you got a shortcoming and give it to God, when it comes time when the meet God through your intercedent, he's like, I can't speak for you. So you will ashamed. And see, there ain't nothing wrong with knowing you're wrong as long as you try to correct your wrong. It's when you're wrong and stay wrong. That's where your problem is. That's where your problem is. And listen, this is this is a, you can't intercede with somebody, but you do have an issue yourself. So right now, you better be a little selfish and nail yours to the cross. It's only gonna help you. This ain't no shameful thing. You giving up some stuff now. You taking a load off you. You taking a load off you. See, that's what I'm talking about. Be real. That's what I'm talking about. Be real. You can't make a list too long. You can't have one too short. Yeah. 